Now, one of the things you hear whenever you hear people talking about not breeding chinchillas, especially other small animals, whenever you get an animal from a pet store, like Petco and all that, there is no guarantee in their lineage that their lineage is pure, and oftentimes if they're backyard bred or bred between the siblings, they end up having de de uh, developmental problems such as mallow, which is in two cases, it's either uh, fed an improper diet or it's hereditary within that line of chinchilla. And whenever the chinchilla has babies, it's spread to that baby and so on and so forth. Mallow is rampant in the chinchilla community and if you're an ill experienced pet owner and you don't know that that's one of the conditions that develop in the chinchilla, take a note of precaution before even wanting to breed your animal. Usually you want to get yours from a breeder, an actual breeder, because their lineage would be pure, especially for those other ones that are qualified that have pedigree chinchillas. The chinchillas you see in a lot of the pet stores are housed proper, improperly. They're housed in stuff that they're not supposed to have, such as plastic housing and fish tanks, and a lot of people that have chinchillas sometimes will even argue about the whole fish tank thing, because they're not really there or did the research to care about the chinchillas welfare and being because chinchillas can get overheated very quickly in those environments especially when they get stressed out when they're stressed a lot of those times when they're sti stuck in those cages before somebody even buys them they get stressed out and they even have develop health issues that way besides the poor diet that they give them at the pet stores and they end up with behavioral problems that they end up giving away to somebody else for free because whenever they realize that after a while that this chinchilla won't open up to them and be friendly. Mallow is a serious problem because the teeth end up growing, the roots end up growing through the mouth or the teeth will break off causing you to either one way is to go to the uh, vet and have them shaved down every week or every two weeks because their teeth grow constantly or which Another way is the vet will have the teeth removed, the problem teeth, but then they would have a trouble chewing anyway and they might not be able to wear down their other teeth and they might overgrow as well. Or another problem is when they get surgery to get those teeth removed, sometimes the teeth break off, especially if it's a top tooth, might break off and damage the chinchilla and the chinchilla might, may die as a result. But and a lot of times to even just file down the teeth for the chinchilla, doing that every two weeks, if you're gonna, you know, put the chinchilla under that kind of stress and suffering, the roots grow into the brain, grow into the jaw, and eventually they'll have like maybe a blood clot and they end up dying. Mallow is a serious problem that needs to be fixed and addressed in the pet community. If you don't know your lineage, if your pet store or whoever you get it from can't provide you with some kind of proof that the lineage is pure, then I would not recommend breeding those animals, especially don't breed animals that are of the same family. That a lot of times, what the problem with, you know, when people have problems with backyard breeders is they do that because they want to do that for a personal a monetary gain for money for themselves and there are some just terrible people out there that, you know, don't take that into consideration because they don't research up enough on the animal beforehand. A lot of pet owners don't do that. That's why you see them all the time in the pet groups asking a hundred questions that they should have looked for before they even got the animal. See, I did a year of research before I even got mine. Before, like way back when I started, you know, with this chinchillas and behavioral training and stuff like that. So I go, I go the extra mile to make sure, you know, I do everything I properly can to take care of them the best way and to have a happy life, you know. So just one thing to look out for if you ever consider breeding your chinchilla is I would recommend you not unless you get at least a full vet checkup. And chinchillas aren't cheap and I see people all the time complain about the cost to have their chinchilla to the vet whenever they have an issue. If you can't afford the chinchilla to take care of it properly by your vet, licensed vet, exotic vet, that don't get a chinchilla. They ain't for you, just like a, any other animal, a dog, a cat, whatever. Now, if you have any questions about your pet, I'd make sure you 
check your the teeth, see the signs, and make sure that there's a correct yellow in, in color of their teeth. Check for any holes, damage signs. It would be easy to notice, especially if you look at a healthy chin's teeth compared to your chin's teeth. With, you know, use them too as a comparison. You can tell if there's any breakage and that sort of thing. Anyways, that's just my two cents of the things you need to look into. Some of the facts regarding what chinchilla care and chinchilla health, what could be the result if you bred your chinchilla when you have no background.